What is stem cell medicine? Stem cell regenerative medicine is basically a way of enhancing and expanding the body's ability to heal itself with different cellular modalities, either using your own cells or the cells of somebody younger, or in particular, a umbilical cord uh, stem cell. Okay, so uh, the focus is on having younger cells helping our older damaged cells to heal better than our bodies can heal by itself even if you're doing all of the things that you think you should be doing eating healthy which we should all be eating healthy um, exercising detoxing okay which you know very well but what we found or what i've come to realize is sometimes we need more help and sometimes our diseases are so advanced that we need a lot of help and that's where using these young cells to help our damaged older cells is is the way that we can get past our illnesses in my opinion yeah what's the most miraculous healing story you've had or your, your two most miraculous healing stories that you've had with uh with clients in the past seven years? oh i've had a lot of them it's hard to um i've got a couple that stand out i think the one of the biggest one was a uh i had a gentleman who flew in to see me uh, simply because he he had the worst case of neuropathy in his feet and what i mean by that he had shooting pains could not stand up for more than 10 minutes couldn't drive for more than 10 minutes couldn't sleep because of the pain went to a lot of different doctors tried different medications signed up for a study that was uh, based on the medication and finally he was told or suggested that he get, get an amputation, which that really upset him. And then uh, somebody through word of mouth talked to him and said, you should talk to this guy in Chicago uh, because he's doing this regenerative therapy or stem cell therapy. And he flew up, he was skeptical, but he was willing to try anything. I, I gave him no promises, but I, I was sure that if it could help all the other issues we were treating. It could certainly help his neuropathy. Um, we treated him. Uh, we uh, injected, you know, his legs and and did some other therapies. And within three days, he started to feel his toes. And and then, eventually, over the course of months, and this is the thing you have to realize: it can take it takes time for the body to regenerate itself. By five months, his pain was gone. He could wear shoes again. He could stand up. He could drive. He could focus. He got off of a narcotic medication. Uh, he said it was making him foggy. Uh, he could sleep. And we're talking about somebody who basically he's, a, he's successful and his life was literally spiraling out of control. And that's how it works with a lot of these illnesses is they get worse over time. Uh, another gentleman I treated, I didn't, know, I didn't know how long he had to live actually, but his daughter really wanted to at least try what they could to help him. He had a really bad, uh, what they call emphysema or COPD. Um, you know, when I first saw him, I, I was almost, you know, unsure about treating him because he, he looked really sick you know, almost like, um, you know, I, I don't want to put a name to it, but it, he didn't look good. Uh, difficulty breathing. They had to wheelchair him from the airport. You know, when we got off the plane, wheelchair him, wheelchair him all the way through the airport, which is embarrassing to him. Um, brought him to the clinic. Uh, I did the treatment protocol, which is different protocols for different conditions. And um, gosh, we talked, it took time. We uh, planned to do a tune-up in six months. I actually uh, went to visit him and I said, can you, you know, do you want me to grab a taxi or a, a Lyft or Uber to get to your house? He said, no, Dr. Joseph, I'll, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm waiting at the airport 
And here this guy, you know, that I treated six months ago who was sitting in a chair. I didn't ever see him stand. And he's standing. I mean, he looked just like anybody else. And I'm like, hey, hi, you know, how are you doing? He's like, I'm doing great, Dr. Joseph. I'm like, I'm like, this is crazy. So basically, he actually takes my luggage and helps me. My luggage was, was heavy because I had equipment. And, you know, he packed up his car and we got in and went over to his house because uh, I was doing a more of a personalized treatment. I didn't want him to have to fly out and go through that embarrassment again. And, um, I mean, still to this day, what he wants now is he wants a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, he's 75 years old. Instead of being told, you know, which he was by his doctors, well, that's part of life. You're going to die, which, you know, at some point he was starting to accept. But what they didn't, or what they were unable to give him was, was hope. If I can ask you, what, is, what do you feel like your life purpose is? I feel like my life purpose is to regenerate. In the simplest terms, it's all about regeneration. It makes perfect sense to me. It's inside and out my life. It feels like that's what I'm here to do. What do you mean by that? Helping people to regenerate themselves. Realizing as a healer, as a physician, the body has an inherent ability to regenerate itself, but it can get to a point where it's overwhelmed and it needs help. And to utilize the, the natural intelligence of cellular biology, younger cells, or using cells from one part of the body to help out another part of the body, it just, it just makes sense. You, you can stare at the wall and you can think about how do you get better from any condition, especially when it's overwhelmed, when, when you're as sick as you guys have been and utilizing the power of mother nature to help you to heal yourself. That there's, to me, it's just, you know, when I first came across it, I didn't, I didn't have to sit there and be skeptical and oh, I don't know. It, I got it. I was in the right place at the right time and it was an earth shattering realization. I was like, that, this, my God, this whole time it was here. I didn't see it. Most people didn't see it. But now it's, I mean, the cat's out the hat. So this is what it is and it, it, it excites me more than anything else to be able to have the privilege to treat people like yourself, mm -hmm. yourselves, other people with these conditions, especially when you thought you had, there was nothing you could do or you were told there's nothing that you could do. And again, it's, it's not to spend my whole life, I got no desire to change the healthcare system and tell and any of that stuff. There's benefits to the healthcare system too. But when it comes to chronic conditions, like the ones you're dealing with, enhancing and expanding your body's ability to heal itself is key. That's where it's at. And doing it in the most natural way. And it's safe. And it's only getting better. Um, you have more? I have a question and then we can move into personal, yeah? Okay. Do you think that there is a shadow side to regenerative medicine? Yes. And, what, what I, and, and I, want to, I want to mention two things and have you talk about whatever you want to talk about. But the two shadows that I see are, of course, the, the money-making piece of it, the scams that are going on around the world, which I don't know much about. And then the other piece I see is that if people think they have a magic fix, they're not going to see. In my life, I've learned that Pain is, can be a teacher. Pain is also a pain in the ass, and also at times I feel like it's not there for anything, but at times I feel like it can be a teacher for me and change my direction in life, change my path. Do you feel like by having this thing that just comes in there, injects the body, and regeneration is miraculous, people don't even have to eat healthy after that, do you think there's a possible, I mean, they should, but in someone in a dysfunctional mind, they may think, I don't have to eat, like I can just fuck around now. Do you think that that's a, a shadow side to this to this work I don't think that that's the shadow uh -huh. in my opinion that's not the 
and I th I really do think I really do think the media paints a a worse picture than what's actually going on. But what I do think is that there are some entities out there that they're only thinking of the bottom line. Okay, they're doing it as a business, and the the danger is, and they might actually feel like they're they're doing the right thing. The problem comes is when they're not really building a relationship with the patient or they're not even a medical professional whatsoever or they don't really understand how this stem cell regenerative medicine works. And so, you know, for example, somebody will go to say a dinner or a seminar. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, to get education, but they think that one treatment, which is really expensive, will fix a, a chronic end-stage condition, you know, say, let's just say a knee, like end-stage arthritis of the knee, and then it, and then that's it. And there's no f real follow-up. There's no really engaging the patient and telling them, okay, this, this is going to take some work here. Okay, this, this is going to be a, a process. Cellular medicine in my opinion, it works. It's just that some people need more help, okay? So you might need some tune-ups. You know, you know, when I say tune-ups, maybe a treatment that's not as expensive, you know, that maybe you can do in three months, say if you're not responding, or maybe in a, in a month. Everybody's a little bit different. In an ideal world, how would this industry look? Like one-third the price, one-fifth the price, subsidized. Oh, yeah, less, ex yeah, yeah, less expensive, for God's sakes, less expensive. Affordable, uh -huh. okay. For everyone, do you agree? For everyone, for everyone. Uh -huh. it should be a shake that you buy in the, in the store, like yeah. Stem cell stem shake. Cell shake. Hey, as long yeah. as long as long as as long as the practitioner is ethical and doing the right thing, mm -hmm. and the prices are, are reasonable, give people people should have, in my opinion, a choice to choose. If what they're doing isn't working, they should, in my opinion, have the right to choose we'll call it alternative therapies, regenerative therapies. To me, it's, to me, it's, the, it's the real deal. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer for me. Yeah. But for somebody who's new to this stuff, to me, at least they should have a choice. I mean, I thought we were free. It's in the ear. What exactly the exosomes are doing? That's a great question. <clears throat> in the simplest form, as a general aha, OK, I think what happens is that the body gets damaged and it gets scarred. It develops scar tissue and then it cannot heal anymore. Okay, the body's done healing and then you live with the symptoms mm -hmm. which are very painful for you mm -hmm. or uncomfortable, I, I should say. Okay, so the way I see it is, and there's also some inflammation, so you cannot stop noise, so that's flaring things up. And sometimes when things are flared up, it can kind of perpetuate the damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically exosomes are breaking that cycle, and they are also dissolving some of that scar tissue so that the healing process can recontinue. That's how I see it. Okay, um, they're not turning into anything, or they're not turning into new hair cells, although that might be coming in the future. But right now we're we're breaking the, the vicious cycle of inflammation and cellular damage resulting in scar tissue mm -hmm. and getting rid of that scar tissue to help it keep healing. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. And uh, why did you need to inject it in uh, All over the place? Yeah. <laughs> well, the common sense answer is because that's a hard place to get to right. is the inner ear right. and uh, the hearing nerve which is even deeper, right. so I wanted to hit it from every angle. I've got a great simplified answer to what can you do, what should you be doing to help a regenerative or a stem cell treatment work okay. the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever reduces body inflammation, right. that is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, yeah. whether it's spiritual, meditating, 
change in diet, plant-based food, detoxing, every every health health uh, I would say what would you call it? Um, every uh, I feel like the like they're almost like religions, you know, <laughs> like like you know, I don't care which one you choose, right, right. just anything, yeah. anything that can help give you put your body get rid of the inflammation and Another put you in a positive like emotional that, state. That watches this video might want to ask is, if I don't have money to, to do a whole stem cell therapy, um, is there any other way that I can get stem cells maybe from, from certain foods or, or? Yes, yes. Um, I believe, and, and we have access to this and we're working on this, there are some, there's a category, there's a category called stem cell activators Okay, these are, okay, you may have heard them, peptides. These are uh, naturally, I would say, very natural uh, cell signaling molecules that can trigger your own stem cells to work harder or maybe they're not working at all to start working. That's an option. And I always say just talk to us, okay? Let's see what we can do. We'll figure it out, a, a way to make it work. But you got you got to meet you got to meet us halfway too. It takes two people. Is there stem cells in certain foods like I don't know bone marrow or or uh, bone broth? I don't know. Like I, I've heard that that those th there's types of types of food that trigger your own stem cells. Is there is there such a, such a thing or no? I'm sure there is. I mean, nothing's like coming to mind. Right. That's a great question. Um, I know that, and I don't want, you know, exercise, exercise. I know as everybody says exercise, but it's true. Um, it probably does stimulate our own stem cell release from our bone marrow. Okay. Um, I can't think of anything specific, and I'm sure somebody can, um, but Listen, I'm looking, I think the thing that intrigues me the most mm -hmm. is and there's always going to be another piece of the puzzle, okay? That, that's one thing. There's always, it's, it's evolving fast, okay? And there's always different layers of it. I think I tend to come from, a, I, I like results so much that I like things that have the biggest impact, okay? So, you know, instead of talking about eating a bowl of blueberries, you know, Yes, it's a good thing. It, might, it has antioxidants uh, and lots of things, lots of nutrients. But that doesn't, personally, it doesn't excite me. You know, I'm looking for something where, you know, we, we treat you and it's like, wow, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's impactful. Um, it's hard for me, you know, if somebody, if you just ate a ton of blueberries, you're, you're probably not, for your, what you guys are going through, you're probably not going to feel any different, no. uh, even though you're doing a good thing. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Yeah. So I tend to like the things that give the most powerful results. It doesn't mean that I don't believe in, in all of the other arts. Right. It's just I can only focus on right. what, I, what I am, for, and I'm just more intrigued by the regenerative modalities that, that I do.